Hello, this is Logan Bedford. Uh, I've been asked to do some tutorials on how to import our PZ maps into MotionX GPS. Um, there's a couple ways you can do this. I'll show you uh, both of them, or the two that I use. Um, so what we've got here is a PZ map that we've created with Google Maps. You can create it with Google Earth, any any kind of software. Basically, the end result we want is a KML file of our PZ map. So if you don't know how to do that, go back and watch our uh, tutorial on how to create PZ maps. And uh, so right now I'm assuming that you've already got a KML file that uh, uh, contains your PZ map of your area. Uh, so what we're going to do uh, once we do that, we're going to go to gpsvisualizer.com. It's www.gpsvisualizer.com. You'll see a screen just like this. Uh, we're going to go click Browse. We're going to find our KML file. Uh, so we've got franklinpzareas.kml. Click open. You'll see it pop up here as a KML file. It says choose an output format. We're going to go to GPX file. Um, that's the format that MotionX uses. Uh, it works really well with creating tracks and uh, and overlaying our red zones onto MotionX GPS. Click go after you're done with that. So it'll bring you to another screen. It has a lot of information on it here. It looks confusing, but really all we need to pay attention to is this click to download some numbers dash data dot gpx. That's the file that you want. So when you click on that, you can save the file. Uh, I'm going to rename this. You want to keep the dot gpx there, but I'm going to rename it um, PZ Map Motion X. So we will save that. Let's save to our desktop. Now what you want to do with that, you can do this two different ways, but the way that I like best I'll show first. Uh, we'll go to our email. Uh, we want to compose a new email. I like this because you can keep it in your email. You can use it, upload it whenever you want to. Uh, we want to send an email to gpsimport at motionx.com. Again, that's gpsimport at motionx.com. Go down to the subject. I'll usually put some information in there. Um, you don't really need any text. So go down to attach a file. Uh, we want to go to our desktop here and we want to find this uh, PZ map motion X dot GPX. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead and click open. It's going to attach that file here and then we will send that to GPS import at motion X.com. So now when you go to your inbox, uh, you can Wait just a second and it will send that actually off to uh, Motion uh, X and then they will reply back to you. Right here it says no reply, um, MotionX.com. So when you get this email, what you want to do is open this email on your device. So if you've got an iPad, you want to go to your iPad, go to your email and what you will do if you have GPS you'll click here if you have Motion X HD then you'll click here so on your iPad you will actually click these uh, highlighted pieces right here these bold pieces will be a link and you can click on those when you click on those it will automatically import all of the tracks into Motion X GPS now, when it originally imports them they're all going to be just a tan looking track it basically imports them as tracks uh, once you do that, um, it is pretty easy to go onto your iPad and uh, and look at those tracks, and you can adjust them. You can change them to red, or or you can do kind of whatever you want to do with them. Um, uh, it it uh, the best way to do that on your iPad is if you open up Motion X GPS, you click on Menu. And then you're going to click on tracks. Um, select all tracks. It will show all these separate tracks. It will show you a lot of different tracks that are that are then named uh, uh, whatever you had named them on uh, on your KML file. Mm -hmm. You can click on each track, uh, and you can set the line color that you want, uh, or you can go to your airspace, for instance, and change that to a different color. So. Uh, uh, Basically, uh, they'll all be there. You don't have to edit the line colors and, and whatnot, but uh, if you want to, you can do that. Again, you'll go to MotionX GPS on your iPad, 
uh, you'll click on menu, you'll hit tracks, click all tracks, that way it will show you all the tracks, and it should list all your PZs there. You can click on each individual one, click line color, and select the color that you want it to be. I changed mine all to red. So uh, if you have any other questions about that or need anything else, uh, uh, just let me know. Again, my email is hotairadventures at gmail.com. Uh, the other way you can do this, I'll show you really quick. You can go through iTunes, kind of like we did on the Ultra Magic Flight Pack. You can click on your iPad, click Apps, scroll down here to uh, GPS HD, and then you'll see all of these uh, files over here. You can just come down here, click Add, and then we will add that uh, GPX file that we had created. Uh, that also will import those into your iPad. But uh, like I said, I prefer to do it through the email. That way you always have it in your email. If you need a backup or something gets deleted, you can always just click on that link and import all your tracks again. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Hotairadventures at gmail.com. And we'll look for some more tutorials later.